Mr. Carroll. Oh, my apologies for disturbing you, Doctor. Your housekeeper told me you were resting, but I persuaded her that I had to see you. Is your business so urgent? Well, not particularly urgent, but my time is short. I must leave Karlstadt this evening. The London Dispatch. It's a newspaper, I assume. Yes, I'm a writer on the paper, Doctor. I've been in your country on holiday, and I must leave for London no later than in the morning. What can I do for you, Mr. Carroll? Well, a few days ago, I arrived in the village of Bernheim to find the people there rather up in arms over something which had happened the previous evening. Well? It seems the body of a woodcutter was stolen only a few minutes after the man's death. The actual theft was witnessed by a young girl who lives in Bernheim. How does that all concern me? A physician purchased the woodcutter's body for use in some sort of experiment. The physician was one Baron Frankenstein. As a newspaper man, I was naturally intrigued by the story. Unfortunately, Baron Frankenstein fled from Bernheim. However, I was able to talk to the village priest and did learn that he had once lived here in Karlstadt, that this was his home, in fact. Why, Doctor? Why is it that when Baron Frankenstein's name is mentioned, people react as though I'd asked them about Satan himself? People wish to forget, Mr. Carroll. Doctor, sir. I told you I do not wish to discuss it. That's the Baron's chateau up there, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I wish I'd time to explore it. No one goes there, not anymore, not since... Yes, Doctor. Good day, Mr. Carroll. Dr. Sergado. Good day, sir. I'm certain there's a story in this Baron Frankenstein. I wish I had time to ferret it out. But, since I haven't, again, my apologies for disturbing you, Doctor. Not at all. But they're tormenting that girl. She would resent your interference more than the teasing. She's a deaf mute. She seems to understand only cruelty. Who is she? Her name is Rena. Her mother is dead. And her father, for all the good he's doing to her and to himself, might as well be dead, too. She wasn't always like this. Until she was seven, Rena was a lovely, healthy, normal child. And then in one moment, she became what you just saw now. Thanks to Baron Frankenstein. Frankenstein? What happened? No one knows. Not for certain. Except the girl herself. And her secret is locked behind ears that cannot hear and the tongue that cannot speak. If I just had more time. If only I didn't have to leave. Good love and good love, met rose and be dark. Come, Rita. Mommy, may I stay here and play? But it's almost time for your nap. Just a little while, please. You won't go wandering off. No. And you will stay right here? Yes. And you promise to come when Mommy calls you? I promise. Very well, then.
Johan! Johan, what is it? Our goats, the whole herd, they have been killed. Killed? How? I don't know. Wolves? Yeah, wolves? No, not wolves. A wolf kills for food, not just for the sake of killing. There is something out there. Something that I have heard stories. Stories about the Baron Frankenstein and the monster he created. I haven't believed them. But now... Oh, Brina! What about her? She's playing out in the woods. Brina! Brina! Brina, what is it? Brina, what's happened? Oh, she's terrified. Brina, tell us what happened. Brina, tell us. Brina! No, Johan. We'll take her to Dr. Sergato. I'm not sure. What is the matter with Rena? Could be only temporary. What? She cannot speak. She has lost her voice and her hearing. But how? I don't know, Johan. Not from personal experience. I have read and heard about such happenings. A great fright. Some, some terrifying experience. That monster. That thing Frankenstein has created. Rena was in the woods. She saw it. My child. My poor child. She will speak again when she doctor. She will talk. She will hear. Perhaps. You don't think so? Johan, I just don't know. All I know is that Rena has had a fright and that does something to your mind that which you do not understand. Where are you going? I am going to church. I am going to pray. Pray that a curse be brought down on the Baron Frankenstein for the evil and blasphemous thing he has done. He has profaned the name of God. <laughs> 